Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance, Navionics, Okuma, Yozori, and the Star Island Yacht Club Shark Tournament. Welcome to this week's video fishing forecast. We have much to report now that the fishing season is in full swing. But before we can get to the reports, it's time to check in with News 12 meteorologist Rich Von Olin with his weekend forecast. Hey fellow anglers, meteorologist Rich Von Owen here in the News 12 Long Island Weather Center taking a look at the weather forecast for the upcoming weekend. All right, we got fluke, we got striped bass, we got some bluefish out there now, some porgies, and uh, the weather, so-so. Uh, I think Saturday is going to be the better bet of the weekend. Uh, northwest breeze with the front going by, and I think we'll see a little brisk in the morning, maybe 15 to 20, uh, you know, sort of settling from the northwest in the afternoon, so that's your best bet. The showers should stay south, the clouds will stick around. Looks like so-so for Mother's Day on Sunday. A little more of an easterly breeze starting to come in, so the, uh, the waves get a little bit higher there, probably going to three to five feet, but the rain should hold off. Should be all right for the most part. Uh, two to four feet close to shore, three to five offshore. This is for Saturday. Looks like a little bit of a chop there, and then settling down the afternoon, and then it looks like Sunday, Probably not quite as nice, especially late in the day. So overall, split decision weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Catch them up. Be sure to check out the latest weather on News 12 before heading out fishing. The fishing reports are brought to you by Orca Coolers. If you're in the market for a cooler that holds ice for days and is reasonably priced, then check out Orca Coolers at Marine Mate in Lindenhurst. Now let's get to the reports. On the east end, what a start to porgies and fluke this week inside the Peconics. Boats targeting porgies north of Jessup's Neck have been putting away full boat load limits of scup to three pounds and more. Saturday's fluke opener saw boats fishing the west side of Shelter Island score many fish from four to nine pounds. Montauk also produced its share of quality keepers among loads of shorts. If you're looking to do some cod fishing, then the CIA grounds are where you want to be off of Montauk. Now let's check in with Mike Dean from Shinnecock. Thanks, Tim. Uh, been some pretty good action uh, out in between Shinnecock and Mariches, mostly in the back bays. Um, we've been chasing after bass and uh, I've been getting a decent amount of fish. They're pretty small, you know, 17 to 23 inches. Uh, occasionally get the keeper size fish mixed in. Uh, got a nice one on a uh, on a spook last week, uh, right at slack tide, no wind, water was glass. It was a uh, really, really fun catch. There's some weak fish around, uh, you know, for bait, uh, worms with, uh, you know, as light a, a weight that'll hold the bottom. Uh, for guys casting for them, any kind of long skinny pink soft plastic uh, has been working. Uh, they've been in Shinnecock Canal, over in West Hampton, going into uh, Mariches, uh, Taylor's Hole, usual spots. Uh, off the beach, there have been reports of some uh, stripers in the wash, mostly small stuff, occasionally at night for uh, the hardcore sharpies. They're, they're getting some bigger fish. Uh, bluefish have been around at night, some really big ones, 17, 18 pounds. Uh, the day bite, sunset bite really hasn't been there yet. I'm really looking forward to getting that ferocious top water bite from them. Um, other than that, gearing up for the Manhattan Cup, June 7th at Liberty Landing. Uh, Fisherman is one of the generous sponsors of the event. We get at least 22 vets out fishing for the day and it changes their lives. Uh, we have plenty of boats available. Uh, some of the best guides and captains in the area donate their boat and their time for the day. You can t contact me at uh, on Facebook, on the Manhattan to Montauk page, on the Manhattan Cup page. Um, and really hope some of you guys can join us. If you can't, please consider sponsoring a vet for the day. It really makes a difference in their lives after the sacrifices they've made for our freedom. Thanks a lot, Tim. Back to you. On the south side, Rich and Renee worked the State Boat Channel for some nice mixed bag action of fluke, striped bass, and weak fish. Now from Capri Bait and Tackle, let's check in with Brendan Retigliano. Oh, and they sell gas too, just to mention that. I uh, just want to let you guys know we had a great start to the fluke season. It's honestly been incredible. Uh, we had a 7.7 .7 fluke off the Laura Lee, off a Spro and Gulp Bucktail uh, combo. We had a 4.2 fluke off the Captree Pier right in front of the shop, which was great, great start to the, uh, the season. 
Um, blowfish are also on the cap tree pier. We have had massive football size ones. So uh, it's great for kids to get out there. It's kind of like the, uh, the snappers of the spring season. So uh, come out and grab some uh, blowfish. They're awesome to eat. And we also have a filleting video online on the uh, cap tree Facebook page. Uh, other than fluke blowfish, uh, bluefish have been showing up, thank God, uh, up to five pounds. They've been in the inlet, so come and grab some of those. Uh, you know the usual spring spots. And striped bass, we've actually seen up to 30 pounds now, mostly schoolies on clams, but the, the big ones are here, and uh, more are coming in soon. So thanks again, guys, and we'll talk to you next week. On the West End, News 12 meteorologist Rich Von Olin did well with the fluke in Reynolds Channel on the opening day. He used bucktails tipped with gulp on the outgoing tide. Now let's check in with Chris Ludwig. Thanks, Tim. What's going on, guys? So the past week or so, I've been exclusively fishing striped bass on top water. I've been using these chugging spooks. This one's in hand bone. I've been using white as well. And we're getting out there at first light and right before the sun goes down. We're fishing the normal structures we always would, sandbars, rocks. Um, I've been fishing the drains and the marshes. It's really cool watching these fish come out and just jump on these plugs, sucking them under. You should really try it out. It's very good right now. And then on the freshwater side of things, we've been fishing, um, excuse me, pitching live worms into tunnels underneath trees, down structure. We're catching small largemouth, some nice white perch, a big amount of bluegills, you know, fairly large ones mixed in. And it's been really fun. Simple fishing, but, you know, we're taking it easy and having a good time with it. Get out there, guys. Have a good one. Captain Joey Leggio has been fishing hard, and he reported cod at the Atlantic Beach Reef, and yesterday had some great fluke action fishing green lawns on the Hampton Lady. The urban angler Raul Ortiz said the fishing is still good out of Staten Island where he had fished 10 to 15 pounds. He also fished a western sound last Sunday night in the rain and had some hefty schoolies in the 10 pound range and released all of them. From the Northport area, let's check in with Kenny Cannon. Thanks, Tim. Opening day of fluke season was a big disappointment for me. Uh, one short fluke in about four hours of fishing, really, really tough. Um, and I was in pretty much a crowd of boats and I didn't see much going on. So uh, I think everybody had a little bit of a rough day. Um, as far as the bays and harbors go, not much to be found. There was some bass on the uh, Hobart's Beach area, that little peninsula that sticks out. But, um, you know, that was pretty much it. I was out yesterday morning, uh, two fluke, two sea robins, both shorts, and uh, again, it was about two hours, so kind of slow, but, but manageable. Uh, upcoming week, I'm looking forward to hitting the South Shore and maybe catch some of those schoolie bass you know, that are down there. I'm probably going to try to clam it a little bit and see if I can pick some fish up on Demo or Gilgo or one of those beaches down there. But as far as the Eaton's Neck, Ashrogan, and Northport area, pretty slow. I mean, you know, the water temperature right now in the Sound as of yesterday morning uh, was 53 degrees and 56 degrees back in the bay. So hopefully it warms up quick. The fish start biting. And um, that's pretty much it from the Northport, Eaton's Neck, Ashrokan area. I hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Back to you, Tim. Now let's check in with Hawaiian Dan. Thanks, Tim. Aloha from Long Island's very own Hawaiian Dan of TalkFishTV.com out here in the field for the fishermen where I'm doing my very best to provide you with the latest intel so that we can help put you on the catch. Now, I don't know any other source that provides information like this. So do yourself a favor and subscribe to the Fisherman Magazine and Talkfish TV YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the latest information. Be sure to subscribe to the Fisherman Magazine where you'll have access to both print and digital information. Now the 2019 fishing season is in full effect and here on the central north shore of Long Island if you look back to last year's report we are exactly one month ahead of schedule. The water temperature is even 10 degrees warmer than it was this time last year. There is plenty of bait fish to be found, ranging in the rain bait sizes from a half inch to two inch, all the way into the adult size bunker, and there are plenty of predators that are feeding on them. The schooly striped bass can be found just about anywhere, ranging in the sizes from 16 to about 26 inches. With the fluke season opening up last week, the bite was hot immediately when it fired off. There are also our resident fish, the sea robins, and I must say, this year they have become my second favorite table ferret. Believe it or not, 
Their meat is incredibly refreshing. It is clean and white. Second only to, of course, the black sea bass. So there's plenty of reasons to get off those couches, grab your friends, your families, your kids, get out there and fish. And until next week, this is Hawaiian Dan of TalkFishTV.com signing out. Let me introduce our newest member to the team, Vincent Cagnina with a surf report. Hey Tim, so I just got off the beach and I finished fishing the mouth of the Nisiquag River and fishing was pretty good tonight. I had a steady pick at some schooly bass, nothing big, nothing crazy, but definitely a lot of fun on the light tackle. Everywhere I waited, I kept finding spearing darting out, so there's definitely a ton of bait in the water. The lures that I were using were six inch tsunami sand eels, bucktails, and SP minnows. With the weekend coming up, we're supposed to get some warmer weather, so what I would be focusing on is looking for the bottom three hours of the outgoing tide and finding structure. The bass seem to be setting up in these deep channels and deep cuts and blitzing up onto the sandbars to grab those spearing. Now back to you. Now let's check in with senior editor Fred Galafaro. Hey, thanks, Tim. And hey, we can finally breathe easy now. It seems like we have a spring run of bluefish underway. Lots of blues showed up on the far west end, you know, Staten Island, that area. Uh, some big blues made their way into the backside of Smith Point. Some pretty big blues, too, by the way. There's an 18 pounder in a boat, and I know 16 pounders caught from the beach there. Um, and they were actually spread through that whole stretch of the narrows. Uh, the inlets remain fairly quiet, but I have to think that Jones, Debs, Mariches, and Shinnecock should all come alive any day now. I wouldn't be surprised if it happens before you even hear this, providing the bait's there. <laughs> if you want to fight the crowd at Smith Point Bridge, give the inlets a shot over the next few days. Uh, good numbers of school bass have settled into all the South Shore bays and North Shore harbors now. Some bigger fish beginning to sprinkle into the action. And this is great for light tackle, six to six and a half, seven foot rods, 10 to 12 pound braid, and 2,500 to 3,000 series reels are the way to go. A lot of the action's on soft plastics. Uh, in the dark, it's swimming plugs, just if you're gonna go with swimming plugs, or even poppers during the daytime. Absolutely crush the barbs on any trebles, even better, replace the trebles with, uh, with single hooks. Uh, Montauk came alive too. Uh, They've been catching fish throughout the week, picking away, but the south side on Friday and Saturday morning, and some guys had 30, 40 fish apiece up into the mid-teens. So that was a pleasant surprise. And there's also a shot of some bigger bass along the Southampton Town beaches, particularly in Bridgehampton during the week. Till next week, I go far here for thefisherman.com. We have two fly reports this weekend. First is from Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. Hello, Tim. This is the fly fishery report for Long Island. Right now, all the back bays are loaded with schooly stripers. Look for dark mud, use dark flies, and you'll score. Stan the man was out fishing in Island Park in his kayak, and he hit, was into bluefish. The first report I had this year in the teens. So hopefully it'll be a good year. All the freshwater parks are filled with trout. They're all fishing well. They're full of water, so it's going to be a good spring. I would also check out all the ponds. Right now it's still cool enough for trout, but the warm water fishing is starting to turn on. We have carp, we have bass, we have pickerel, we have bluegills. They're all coming along and all can be taken with a fly rod. Remember everybody, limit your kill, don't kill your limits, and tight lines. Let's check in with David Yeagerman for more fly action. Thank you, Tim. Hi guys, been out there fly fishing for the last couple of weeks both on the North Shore and on the South Shore, and there have been some fish around. On the North Shore, back in Little Neck Bay, we had the salty fly riders out there, about five of us. We just waded out into a high tide and caught the outgoing. Wasn't as productive as we would have liked, even though the conditions were very good for fly fishing. Uh, one or two schoolies were caught, but we had a good time as a group. Flipping to the next week, the last couple of days I was out with Captain Frank Machia from Firefly Charters. And in Long Beach, I gotta tell you, we had a great time. The weather was rough, uh, not really windy, not really uh, horrible, but it was rainy and overcast. Little bit of a chop, but Frank got us into a secluded cove area and he managed to find some tailing bluefish. If anyone has ever fly fished before for bonefish, you know, you got to travel pretty far to get those guys. Well, we had some really exciting fishing on some, I want to say, 8 to 12 pound bluefish, top water plugs, flies that we tied ourselves, and it was great. 
If you'd like to be part of our weekly fishing forecast, we're looking for social media savvy anglers for hyperlocal reporting from around the New York metro and Long Island area. So if you're a captain, tackle shop, or just an avid angler, contact me at libayrat at gmail.com. For links and more information, be sure to check out this video's description on YouTube. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And of course, be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine to be part of the Dream Boat Contest. Get out there, catch them up. This is Tim C. Smith for thefisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude Lowrance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at thefisherman.com.